걱정하지마 <웃음> YouTube k l e a g u e Hello, I'm g o n b a y for Gold TV and today I'm joined by a K-League player who is here to talk about his experience and opinions on the K-League as well as his time in Korea Today's guest is the Ulsan Hyundai's number 40, Richard v i n t b i c h l a r What was the biggest difficulty you faced when you fa- first came to Korea? Okay, when I think back to my first days in Korea, it was definitely the food mm-hmm. because my style is what I don't know, I don't eat and I almost knew nothing. Okay, I knew rice and that was my main course every day, you know. So I lost 2-3 kilograms right away in my first week. So, you know, I had to overcome this and same thing today, I love Korean food. Basically what I like to do and, you know. <laughs> What I've been taught, and I really love it, is first of all, I like salt. <laughs> <laughs> so then I'd like to take one piece of lettuce. Like that's the Korean style, right? Yes. Okay. What's the name of this sauce again? Samjang. It's my absolutely favorite sauce. Yeah? Yes, s a m c h a n g Okay, and piece of pap, of course. And. Yes, that's it. So. And then, enjoy. Uh, when I first came here, I was so determined to learn this language. But I very fast I found out that i s so different from what we are speaking in Europe and of course with the letters and back then we had like a very tight schedule with AFC, AHL games so I didn't really find the time and the consistency to really 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 study this language but uh, at the end of the day I have to admit maybe I was also a little bit lazy and If I can do one thing over in my career time, it would definitely be to invest more time in the language. Okay, people who know me, they know that my favorite uh, sentence is "Kok chung ajima." What are some differences between fans in Austria and fans in Korea? There's of course there's a difference, and I see it in a way of being aggressive, kind of aggressive. I mean, when I think of Austria Wien against Rapid Wien. This is such a big rivalry that sometimes bad things in the stands happen, you know, which we are not proud of. But because of the high intensity of the rivalry, people sometimes punch each other. And I'm really glad and also proud of Korean fans that they don't do these stupid things, you know, and just keep focusing on supporting their team. And also, I love that. After the game, we say goodbye and thank you for the support to the opponent fans, which keeps it very quiet, you know, and no, no fighting outside, you know, and that's a difference. And I think that Korea is a, how can I say, a role model for European fans to, you know, behave and act like they should, you know. Can I ask you two things you like about K-League since you've been here for a year and a half? What I like about K-League, maybe are the player itself, because as the Korean culture says, respect is very important. And I felt it from the first second I stepped on the pitch that even the opponents, they respect me and treat me very fairly. And, you know, I really appreciate that. And at the same time, I try to be same respectful and, and I like that in Korea. The first keyword is job. Do you know what it could be about? Yes, maybe my job if I'm not football player. Mm-hmm. Do you have one? So for me, it, was, it goes without saying that I've become a professional football player. It was clear for me since the day I can think. But, you know, thinking back, if I cannot choose to be a sportsman at all, because I would choose ice hockey player, you know, I admire pilots and planes. And you come around the world, you can travel and maybe if 
I'm not a sportsman, I would have been a pilot, that's what I like. Basically, you know me as Richard, right? Or how Korean people call me, Richard. <laughs> but, you know, actually, the real pronunciation is Richard, because yeah, it's German and Richard is just my English version. My second name is Windbücher, and I, we never mention it because I think it will break the people's tongue because they cannot spell it or pronounce it, so we keep it simple by Richard, but my real name actually is Richard Windbücher. If you could you know, go back to when you first started football, do you think you will choose defender or do you think you could try out new positions? I would definitely choose uh, to be a forward or at least an uh, offensive midfielder because striker always get more attention first of all, mm -hmm. but nevertheless it's also that you can score goals, you know, and I mean one player I shared at a certain time with once that the strikers are the stars and the defenders basically are the cap chiefs, the captains, you know, the leaders. So it's nice also to be a leader, but uh, scoring goals is the best feeling you can have in a football game and I would definitely become a striker in my second life. Well, there is a, a girl, she's around 18, 19 years, she made the effort to write with her own handwriting, a letter, a three-page letter that she admires me and it's just such a nice gesture I will never forget in my life and I started to have kind of a little relation with her, you know, because fans are the most important for a team and yes, I do remember people who yeah, support me. <laughs> wow, wow. Uh, you can be sure this will be in my living room for the rest, rest of my life. Hello Goldie V viewers and of course Ulsan fans. Thank you for your support all the time. Uh, you know, it's a really a pleasure to be in K-League and please uh, keep supporting us in the stadium and Gokchungajima. Goldie V, Chua Yo, Gudo, Mani Mani.